Park Hae Jin is known for his versatile acting abilities and has a significant fan following both in South Korea and internationally. Some of his notable works include My Love from the Star, Doctor Stranger, Cheese in the Trap, and Conde Intern. The actor has been acting steadily for over a decade, and his attitude is always the same as when he was a rookie. He is always 100% immersed in his character, does research for every part he takes on, and spares no effort to show his growth in each work. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Park Hae Jin. He ran a clothing store before becoming an actor. Park Hae Jin was born on May 1, 1983, in Busan, South Korea. He had a rough childhood when his parents divorced when he was young, and the actor had to live with his maternal and paternal grandparents alternately. Before joining the entertainment industry, Park Hae Jin ran a clothing store in his hometown Busan. He was first cast on the streets when the actor came to Seoul to buy clothes. Nonetheless, he put effort into realizing his acting dream. He went to Seoul National University to study acting and debuted in the 2006 drama Famous Chill Princesses. The drama became a major hit, for which he won the Best New Actor Award at the 43rd Beksong Arts Awards, and his standing in the entertainment industry was elevated to a whole new level. He was supposed to have the villain role in My Love from the Star. After starring in Famous Chill Princesses, the actor made a big impression in the industry with his role in the hit family drama My Daughter Sa Young. But what really skyrocketed his acting career was his role in My Love from the Star. The hit series put him on the map as he was able to get his first starring role shortly after. Playing the loving role of Lee Hee Kyung in the drama, it turns out that this actor was supposed to have the villain role of Lee Jack Yong, but the role went to Shin Song Rog instead. However, we can't imagine anyone else playing Lee Hee Kyung perfectly, other than the actor. He has received an award of service for his volunteer work. Park Hae Jin was honored for his active promotion of public safety awareness in his position as an honorary fire marshal. The actor was made an honorary fire marshal in December 2019, following his appointment as an honorary firefighter the year before. He has been a steadfast supporter of firefighters since 2016, participating in various activities to further awareness for their cause. The actor first became interested in the cause through a fan, whose father is a firefighter. Since his debut, he has never taken a break from work. It has been 17 years since he made his debut in the entertainment industry. There are times when he gets frustrated by his schedule, but he doesn't like falling into idleness either. Even on his days off, he says he doesn't like to sleep in. Park Hae Jin revealed that he likes a routine life filled with his work. He shared, other actors will probably be like this as well, but I think I've worked hard throughout my life. I was really grateful to be able to work, and I never took a break from projects. I was thankful for every moment. The way he deals with anti-fans. The actor has a unique way of dealing with his haters. Instead of proceeding in suing the netizens who spread malicious comments about him, he invited those who apologized to do a community service program with him. The group worked on delivering essential items to those in need. He is the ultimate foodie with a big appetite. Park Hae Jin is known for his slim figure, but he is a food lover. A photo of him in front of massive piles of sushi plates has been circulating online communities for a while. He revealed that five staff members and he finished 130 sushi plates that day. He once shared in an interview, I'm always hungry on drama sets, so I try to share what I have. I feel awkward when someone thanks me. I try to be careless about sharing because it can feel like I'm showing off. I do appreciate it if they can feel my sincerity. He has been focusing on a scientific diet and increased exercise. Park Hae Jin is one of the South Korean actors who looks younger than his age. The older he gets, the more outstanding and dashing this actor becomes. He once said he had no sense of age, but his physical strength seemed to decrease as he's getting older, so he has been focusing on a scientific diet and increased exercise. He once collected thousands of shoes. Park Hae Jin used to be one of the biggest collectors of Nike shoes, based on the storage he once kept in his house. The actor was so avid about this specific hobby that he has even been interviewed by Nike for his expansive Nike shoe collection. In 2018, he admitted to getting rid of his collection, which numbered around 2,000 pairs. As an actor, I have to live wearing a mask. I can't say I don't like it easily. Even when I want to yell, I have to hold it in, so it can be hard. But I become honest when I go home. I get mad at my mom and nag my older sister. 
All those held in urges manifest themselves in my collecting mania instead. I had about 2000 pairs of shoes before I decided to get rid of them. He's scared of ghosts. Fear of ghosts or supernatural elements is a common fear that many individuals may have, regardless of their profession. While talking about action scenes for his drama Man to Man in 2017, Pak Hae Jin shared, I try not to use a body double if I'm just running or rolling around. I can even do car flip stunts. Am I fearless? No. I'm really scared of ghosts. I'm a scaredy cat. He is terrible at dating. Pak Hae Jin is a family-oriented man who deeply loves his mother, sister, and his two adorable niece and nephew. In addition to that, he is also good at doing household chores. Pak Hae Jin is a good potential husband, but he says he is just terrible at dating. The actor explained, in the past, when I thought that I was giving a girlfriend space and not suffocating her, she thought that I was neglecting her. One of the other reasons he's not able to date is because he's busy. He knew that he wouldn't be able to take good care of his girlfriend, with work as an excuse. He shared in 2022, I think I should get married before the age of 45, but honestly, I have no intention of getting married. He believes he is happy enough surrounded by his family, like-minded friends, and feels thankful for the fact that he is able to do what he loves.